Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Crystal version. We're here in the Slowpoke town of the game. i completely forgotten the name of it just now. Um, we're here in, there we go, Azalea town. Oh, Azalea town. Azalea Town. The town of the Slowpoke. And if we come over to the gym, there's a Team Rocket Grunt telling us how tasty Slowpoke Tail is. Just like the guy who was trying to sell a Slowpoke Tail just before Union Cave. Ooh, yeah, apricorns. Now, this is a new thing. Um, now they're introducing apricorns into the game, because in this house is a guy called Kurt, he's the ball guy. And we can't go to the gym yet because Team Rocket's in the way, so basically we have to defeat Team Rocket before we're able to get into the gym. So let's go and talk to the ball guy, Kurt. Huh, who are you? Steven, eh? You want me to make some balls? Sorry, but that'll have to wait. Do you know the Team Rocket? Ah, uh, don't worry, I'll tell you anyhow. Team Rocket's an evil gang that used Pokemon for their dirty work. They're supposed to have disbanded three years ago. Uh, three years ago, from the point of view of this Generation 2 universe, uh, is when the Generation 1 universe happens, so they're talking about when Red defeated him. Anyway, they're at the well cutting off Slowpoke Tails for sale. So I'm going to go give them a lesson in pain. <laughs> Hold on, Slowpoke. Old Kurt is on his way. Grandpa's gone. I'm so lonely. Oh, don't worry, kid. We'll get him back. Uh, so yeah, once we've helped him out, Slowpoke. Well, Kurt's going to do something very special with the apricorn that we just got. Uh, but let's go over here and buy some items. We can buy a charcoal for 9,800 and that ups the power of fire type moves. Oh, sorry, my screen went black for a second there. Do apologise. So we can buy a charcoal which ups the power of fire type moves. We don't have enough money to do so yet. And now we can buy super potions. So I'm going to go ahead and buy, ooh, I don't know, three super potions? I don't want to be ridiculous. And we've got some Pokeballs already, so that's fine. I'm going to try and save up money, try and see if we can get that charcoal at some point. Because I'd like Hot Dog to have a charcoal, I think it would be very useful for him. It would up his fire type moves. As you can see, the Team Rocket Grunt here is gone, so we can actually now go into Slowpoke Well. Hey there, Steven. The guard at the top took uh, off when I shouted at him, but then I took a tumble down the well. I slammed down on my back hard. Now I can't move. Rats. If only I were fit, my Pokemon would have punished them. Uh, it can't be helped. Steven, show them how gutsy you are in my place. So yeah, we're going to be taking on Team Rocket today. Oh, we've got Amazoon out front. That's okay, yeah. Uh, we can tra give him a bit of training. Darn, I was standing a guard on top when this old coot yelled at me. He startled me so much I fell down here. I can't think, uh, I think I'll vent my anger by taking it out on you! <laughs> so yeah, this is our first Team Rocket grunt battle. He's gonna send out a rat level 9. We've got our Amazoon, level 12. We're gonna start off with a slam, see how much damage that'll do, because we just learnt slam a few a few levels ago, I think. That did about half. Let's go ahead with another slam, see if we can take this Rattata out. Well done, Amazoon! His Rattata is down for the count. 
Uh, he's going to send out another rat, so we might as well keep out Amazon. Now this time we're going to be using our mud slaps to try and reduce the rat's accuracy a bit. See, that's the thing about Ratata. It is very quick. Oh, and that was a crit. So I'm going to go ahead and use a potion here. We've got two left. That's fine, because we've got some super potions as well. And uh, the mud slap's reduced his accuracy, so it's like, no, I don't want to do that. Mud slap is reducing its accuracy, so he's actually becoming a lot easier to handle here. And now we can use a slam on him. Hopefully this will miss. Yes, it did. Well done, Amazon, taking out both Rattata's like nobody's business. It took a little bit of time because we don't have any special effectiveness against normal types yet. Sure, we've been hacking off the tails of Slowpark and selling them. Everything we do is for profit. That's right, we're Team Rocket. And we'll do anything for money. So I'm going to go ahead and use another potion on Amazon, try and heal him up a bit more. And that's the end of our potions. Good thing is that we've got four super potions, which is uh, really cool. Oh, and a Pokemon encounter. What's down here in Slowpoke? Well, we've got another Zubat. This one's level 7. We're going to go ahead and run from this. Oh, here comes the second one. And this is new to this game, I think. Uh, I don't think there were female grunts for Rocket in the original games, apart from if you count Yellow and, of course, you know, Jesse and James, who appeared in Yellow. But that's a level 9 Zubat. I'm going to check if Ground, if Mudslap works on it. Not sure if it will. It might not, actually. No, it doesn't affect Zubat. So we're going to go ahead and swap out. We're going to bring out Hot Dog to deal with this Zubat. And we're going to use Ember. It's a level 9 Zubat, so it still hasn't learned Bite, which is quite cool. It means that we can take this out fairly easily, I think. Thanks to our Hot Dog. A few more of those should be more than enough for it. So yeah, Team Rocket Grunts, they like using Zubats, Coffings, Ekans, and Ratatas. Oh, that's confused us. I think we have a Bitterberry, so it should be fine. Hold on. Yeah, we've got two Bitterberries. So, Hot Dog's confused no more. They come in very handy for doing stuff like that, so I might go ahead and try and get more Bitterberries down the line. We only got two, but they are fairly useful if you want them. I eventually got round to showing you what Bitterberries do. Like, those are two Bitterberries that we got in, like, parts one and two, I think. So yeah, there's an Ekans, and she is a poison type. Uh, so if we ever got a psychic type, then we'd be able to take it down fairly easy. As it stands right now, we don't have anything that's really strong against the poison type. So I was thinking about getting a Psychic type sometime in the future. And we defeated Rocket Grunt. Way! And Hot Dog almost leveled up to level 15, uh, 13, which is good. We found another Super Potion. That gives us five Super Potions, which is absolutely awesome. Oh, we got a Pokemon encounter just before that Rocket Grunt. It's another Zubat, what a surprise. So yeah, um, Team Rocket Grunts like Zubats, probably because Zubats hang around in caves and there's an infinite amount of Zubats so they can give all of their Grunts Pokemon. Quit taking Pokemon Tails. 
Uh, if we'd obeyed you, Team Rocket's rep would be ruined. <laughs> well, Team Rocket's rep is already ruined. You know, you disbanded yourselves three years ago. Hmm? Hmm? We're gonna send out Ratatata. We're gonna send out Amazon. We're gonna take this guy out with two slams. The thing about slam is that it sounds like it wings flapping. It sounds like the same sound effect that Gust used to have in the original game. About to use Zubat. We're going to keep out Amazon. And we're going to use Water Gun. See, Zubat is incredibly quick. Even, at even when you've got levels on him he will still be faster than you. Which is why it's great that we've got a Zubat. Because he's a very fast Pokemon. He'll come in very handy. Especially when we get like the Quick Claw, we can fully utilize his speed. by giving a Zubat the Quick Claw when we do get it. Basically, the Quick Claw is an item that you can give two Pokémon, and it gives them, even regardless of their speed, gives them a chance of attacking first. So, you can give it to a really fast Pokémon, and then it's more than likely going to attack first every single time. Or you can give it to a slow Pokémon, and then see whether it attacks first or not. I want to see how much bite will actually do to this Zubat. Maybe flinching will really help. Yeah, it flinched, so another bite. Will it flinch again? Yeah, it flinched again, there you go. So bite is actually probably the most useful. So both Hot Dog and Amazon leveled up to level 13 at the same time which is fantastic. So we're getting quite a bit of money here in Slowpoke Well from all of these guys. We're just going to check. There's no real change to the egg, so we still need to level up quite a bit more. We're going to check out this Slowpoke Potato Oh, it's holding mail. Do you want to read it? Yeah, they introduced mail into this game. Mail doesn't really do anything, though. What do you want? Can you to work? Don't expect any mercy. You can see just there, there's a boulder that you need strength to move. So there is more to explore down here in Slowpoke Well, it's just that we can't do so right now. So we've got um, Zubat out, we're going to use Supersonic on his level 14 coughing. Confuse it a little bit. Yep, that will help us out immensely, and then start using Bite. Oop, I just dropped something, sorry about that. So the great thing about the Supersonic Bite is that he'll be confused, so there'll be a chance that he might either hurt himself in his confusion, and will be biting him, so there's a chance that he might just flinch. So it, they really complement each other very well, Bite and Supersonic. As soon as we get Confuse Ray, that will actually work out a lot better for us, because that's basically a 100% accurate confusing uh, attack, which is really cool. Oh, we got quite a lot of experience from that. I think that was his only Pokemon was a level 14 coughing. Yeah, Team Rocket was broken up three years ago, but we continued our activities underground. <laughs> uh, now you have uh, fun watching us stir up trouble. So they all leave. And here comes Kurt, he looks very chipper, his back's all better. Way to go, Steven! Team Rocket's taken off. My back's better too! Let's get out of here. So we get back to his house, so we can now talk to him. 
Hi Steven, you handled yourself real, like a real hero in the well. I like your style, we'd be honored to make balls for a trainer like you. This is all I have right now, take it. We got the lure ball! I make balls from apricorns, I collect them in trees and bring them to me. I'll make them out of balls. Do you have an apricorn for me? Fine, I'll turn it into a ball. So we can use the white apricorn and turn that into a ball. I think it takes about a day for him to make a ball. So that's good. So we're going to go and head and heal that. That looks like a sailor over there, or a, no, no, sorry, a fisherman. I don't think that we get the good rod here though, because we've only just got the old rod. Uh, oh, it's he tells us about Bill's PC. Okay, never mind. So that was Slowpoke Well. We're going to go ahead and save the game here now that we've uh, healed up our Pokémon. And I'm just going to quickly check how long this has been recording for, so I'll be back in a sec. I'm back, everybody, and uh, yeah, it's not been recording for that long, it's only been about 16 minutes. Oh, sorry about that. Yeah, it's only been about 16 minutes. So, we're going to continue on here. Uh, in uh, this gym, hopefully we'll be able to defeat it in time. It's a bug gym, so we can't use Dandelion as far as I'm aware, uh, but we can use Hot Dog, he'll be super effective. So we're going to go ahead and save the game here. We're going to see if we can take on this gym, so here we go. Your challenge will break to learn your knowledge back Pokemon for you! Flying type is super effective. So if we had a flying type move, then we'd be fine. We don't have a flying type move yet. So this will be a very difficult uh, gym for us at the moment. But I think we should be fine. I mean, we've got... Uh, as long as we don't use Chikorita, because Chikorita is weak against all bug types. Let's see, they're level 10, so it should be okay. So as long as we keep on using Bite, then it has a chance to make it flinch, which is great. So Bite becomes very handy, actually. Because of that flinching effect, it basically, as soon as they flinch, you know, it's basically allowing us to do twice damage before it can before that Pokémon has a chance to attack us, so it's really, really cool. So Meatloaf's almost at level 14, which is great. So here comes Spinarak. We caught one of those earlier. So basically she's using the two main um, new bug Pokémon of the game, Spinarak and Ledibur. Meatloaf is actually quite a good um, choice for this gym. Because the thing about Meatloaf is that he's flying poison, so he's got two um, advantages over bug types. Now he doesn't know any flying type moves yet, but still the type advantage still applies in terms of what their moves will do to him. So we're going to go ahead and face this girl over here. Bug Pokemon are cool and tough, I'll prove it to you. We're going to send out a Caterpie and we're going to send out Meatloaf straight away. It's a level 12 Caterpie, so this will be slightly more difficult. Hopefully we'll be able to make it flinch. I'll tell you what, I'm not going to waste experience here. I'm going to swap out to Hot Dog and use our super effectiveness against it. Uh, so Hot Dog will use Ember, which should be really, really cool should be able to take out this Caspie like nobody's business. Yet there it goes, that Caspie is down for the count, and Meatloaf grew to level 14, which is awesome. Uh, and he's going to use a Weedle, we're going to keep out Hot Dog and use another Ember. 
You can see that Hot Dog's really been a really, really good Pokemon for us. He's been, he's going to be so useful in this gym. I'm so glad that we were able to catch a Fire type that soon, um, because usually you're not allowed to catch a Fire type that early in the game. Uh, we're going to go ahead and swap round so that Meatloaf is there. Oh right, we could have just swapped everyone round. We can't use Dandelion in this gym. So, the Pokemon evolve so young, they get stronger that much faster. So we're already coming up to Bugsy here, but I want to fight every single trainer in this gym before we do that. If this video gets too long, I might split it down into two videos. Uh, but it's a level 7 Weedle, so it should be fairly easy to get rid of with our 13 hot dogs. Uh, and here comes a Beedrill. Oh, Beedrill's awesome. Oh yeah, that's awesome. Now, I, uh, I have a phobia of wasps, but I'm not afraid of Beedrills. I never knew why, I never quite understood why, but I have a phobia for wasps, but I don't actually mind Beedrill as a Pokemon, I think it's very cool. And my favourite, um... Oh gosh. That hit a lot. That's the only problem about Fury Attack, it can hit quite a lot. Uh, so let's go ahead and use a super potion. We've got five, so we're absolutely fine here. And that heals up Hot Dog without any problems. So this is why uh, Beedrill's quite good, because he learns Fury Attack, and I think he learns Twin Needle as well. Uh, Twin Needle is a bug poison attack that hits twice, so it basically does 50 damage uh, so it's almost as good as Razor Leaf in terms of um, in terms of power. Oh ho, hot dog, nice one. Leveling up to 14. Uh, Cocoon is being sent out, so we might as well change. We're going to send out Amazoon. I think that Ground type will be super effective as well against the Bug type, so we're going to try Mud Slap. We're going to see how much that does. It's not super effective, but accuracy fell, which is good, I suppose. So we're going to keep on using Mud Slaps. See how much damage we can do here to this Kakuna. See if we can whittle down its health a bit. This is going to be a long battle, so I might skip to the end. He said just evolving isn't enough, and that's very true, just evolving is not enough. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and switch out for Dandelion, even though she's got a type disadvantage, I don't want to waste the experience here. So we're going to go and use the swapping technique. We've still got a few minutes, so we should be fine. We should be able to take on the rest of these guys quite quickly. If not, I will split it into two videos, don't worry. So by now you're probably on the second video if I wasn't able to. So I'm going to go on ahead and get up a Reflect. Oh, Stunsball. Well, that's fine. 
because we're actually swapping anyway, so... You know, that, that doesn't really do much for us. We're bringing out Amazon, and we're going to use Slam against this Paris. Oh, it missed! Come on, Slam. Oh, it stuns for... This is the only thing about Paris, it's really... Oh, we're fully paralysed. Okay, we're going to use the par Paralysis Cure Berry. On Amazon. To get rid of that Paralysis. The Reflect faded. That's fine. So we're getting... we're actually having a lot of trouble with this Paris because it's a level 13, so it's the same level as our Pokémon. Oh, a Poison Powder, that's going to hurt because that means that we're going to basically be poisoned. So that's what Poisoning does. Hopefully we can get off another Slam before... yep, that's good. We were able to get off another Slam, which is very good. And we defeated Bugcatcher Josh. So I'm going to go ahead and use a Poison Cure Berry on Amazon here, before then going away to the Pokemon Center to heal up. Uh, so when I'll be, I'll be back in a second. So I'm back after healing up my Pokémon. I went ahead and I changed the order of my Pokémon again to put Amazon up front because uh, this Bugsy is going to be very, very powerful. I might actually change and put Growlithe up front, even though Amazon and Dandelion need to level up some more. I think it will be fine. In fact, I, I need to use Meatloaf in these battles, so we're going to go ahead and use Meatloaf first, and we're going to be using primarily Meatloaf and Hot Dog in this gym. Uh, we might use Amazon and Dandelion quickly against another one, so we're going to go ahead and save the game here. At almost four hours into this game... Uh, I don't think that I have four hours of footage, though, <laughs> um, because most of that was training and trying to capture Pokémon. So here we go, it's Bugsy. I'm Bugsy. I never lose when it comes to Bug Pokémon. My research is gonna make me the authority on Bug Pokémon. Let me demonstrate what I've learned from my studies. I like how the arena's made of plant pots. Uh, Leader Bugsy wants to battle. He sends out Metapod. It's a good thing that we've got Meatloaf out for this Metapod, so we're going to use the same tactic. Where firstly, we're going to confuse it, and then we're going to continually bite it to hopefully make it flinch. The reason why I'm using Meatloaf quite a lot in these gyms is because I'm trying to make it as happy as possible. Because I've read up on happiness, and what you can actually do to increase a Pokémon's happiness, and using it in important battles, for example, gym battles, and making sure that it doesn't faint, will really make it happy. And then the next town that we get to, there's a 
hair salon, a Pokemon salon that we can go to and we can have our Pokemon's hair cut, which is pretty cool. And there, yeah, it took out Metapod, which is great. So Meatloaf is going to get very, very happy. Here we go, we're going to bring out a Cypher. Hopefully we'll be able to be faster than a Cypher. Oh, that was awesome. Cypher is really, really strong. Good thing that we've got... We're going to use Supersonic on this Cypher. And we're going to swap out to Hot Dog. Because I want to try and get rid of this Cypher as quickly as we can. Uh, because this Cypher is really strong. Hopefully it will hurt itself in its confusion. No, it's using a Leer on us. Now, Ember's going to be super effective, but I'm not sure whether it will do that much. No, it won't. It's confused no more. It used a Leer, now it's going for another quick attack. We almost fainted there. So we're going to have to go ahead and use a Super Potion in a moment. So here we go, we're going to use a Super Potion on Hot Dog. This already is quite a difficult fight because for the first time in quite a while we're actually under leveled because Cypher is a level 16 where we're only level 14. Oh, we almost fainted again. That's the Leer and the Quick Attack combination, but we did it. Cypher's down for the count. Meatloaf and Hot Dog both leveled up, uh, well, both got some experience. We're going to go ahead and swap because it's Kakuna. We're going to bring out Amazoo. So well done, Hot Dog. You've done enough. You really helped there to bring down that... Uh, to bring down that Cypher, who's her most powerful Pokémon. I'm going to go ahead and slam this Kakuna. Now, obviously... Oh, poisoned. That's not great. Oh, that's not good at all. That was a very lucky shot from that Kakuna, because the reason why I picked Amazon is because poison isn't very effective against it. Um, but, you know, that's, uh, it's fine. We're going to be able to defeat this Kakuna before the poison is able to faint our Amazon, so that's absolutely fine there. So yeah, Amazon gained a ton of XP, almost leveled up, and that's it. We defeated Bugsy. Uh, which was actually quite a difficult battle, but thanks to our fire type, we were able to do it quite well. We got 1,600 for winning, we sent some to our mother, and we received the Hive Badge, which sounds really... yeah, it sounds like a condition. The benefits of the Hive Badge, uh, now we can train up to level 30, even trained ones, and we can use Cut outside of battle. And we get TM49, which I think is Fury Cutter. Yeah, Fury Cutter. It gets stronger every time we use it. Yeah, and uh, yeah, it's a, it's a pretty good move. Oh yeah, I forgot that we were poisoned. So I'm going to go ahead and heal up our Pokemons here. We've got some Poison Cure Berries still, so that's fine. We're going to go heal up Amazon. And then we're going to heal up in the Pokemon Center. Uh, but that was it from this part. Uh, um, I'm going to go ahead, heal up in the Pokemon Center, and then I'm going to edit this video down into two parts. Uh, so I'll see you when I've done that, and I might continue the game in a sec. So uh, see you in a sec.